Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If your laptop or Dell system is not booting up, showing the not bootable device or the hard drive is not found, whatever error related to the startup. So I will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue wise. So first of all, you need to go to the BIOS option from here. You need to press F2 on your keyboard. Whatever error you are getting, as you can see here, I'm getting here the no bootable device. So I need to press here F2. If direct F2 is not working on your system, you can press function plus F2 key or the F12 key. Once you go here, first of all, you need to check the date and time should be correct here. If the date and time is already select here, you need to go to the boot sequence. And once you go to the boot sequence, if you have chosen the UEFI options here and you are sure that your BIOS mode is UEFI, then you need to make sure that the priority on the bootable is your SSD. Like this, you need to up it. Make sure it is on the priority then click on apply option here so this is the first setting to troubleshoot this issue so once you click on apply option it should fix the issue if it doesn't fix the issue guys you need to next on to the next option so in this case if the ssd is not showing her you need to change the legacy options so if the legacy options is gray out here you need to go to advanced options then you need to enable this option legacy option room and it is saying we must disable the secure boot since the legacy doesn't support the secure boot so we have to first of all disable the secure boot in order to enable the legacy option once you enable that click on apply and now if we go to this option then click on apply legacy support should work on the older system but if you have the newest or the latest system leave the system as uefi okay once you select the legacy options the hard drive is showing up here you need to set the priority on the one and then you need to click on exit option here like this So invalid partition table is showing up here. So in this error guys, remove the external cables from your system or the laptop. And you need to press the power key for almost 30 seconds. And make sure the laptop is properly shut down. If you are unable to perform this step, you have to remove the battery from your laptop. So if this option is not working for you, I have to remove the battery. So I have removed the battery, then reinsert the battery. So now again turn on your laptop. And again go to the BIOS options, F2. Now this time we will restore our system to the default setting here. Just click on load defaults and click on OK. Once you click on OK, exit out from this BIOS option and see if that is working for you or not. If it doesn't work for you, we will next move on to next method. the same error is showing up here again we have to remove the battery and once the laptop is booted you need to press F2 again go to boot sequence and change the legacy as you can see here the boot priority which I was talking about disable drive should be on the top internal STD you can also switch between the internal STD or 
disable drive like this in this case uh, I have to switch over to legacy mode from legacy to UEFI and it is not showing up here in my case let me try apply since we have disabled the secure boot and ROM is enabled here it's gray out now let me enable the secure boot okay it is still gray out guys so let me apply once again I'm going to boot sequence and this option is not clickable let me untick all of them once and now let me try to UEFI okay still not working for me and date and time is also incorrect here so I have to change the date and time as well I have untick all the options from the legacy and then let me try here exit so as you can see here guys when I untick all the legacy options from the BIOS it is automatically booting up and issue got resolved if that fix your issue then you can leave the video if still not we will stick to this video in order to fix the issue so basically we are going to run the hardware diagnostic test so once you are on this screen you need to press F5 key in order to check the hardware diagnostic test so this is the display test coming up on the screen press here Y if you are able to see the display now you can see one by one all the tests should be passed here if anyone is failed you need to replace that component especially if the hard drive test is failed you have to replace the hardware or SSD so let me wait here for some time until the test completes so as you can see here guys all the tests are passed so make sure all the tests are passed especially the hardware I mean the hard drive SSD okay press here no and we can also see the results here uh, click on ok option let me go to results and scroll down look for this option which says hard drive let me zoom in hard drive DST test and short DST test there are two tests in the hard drive make sure both are passed once you have confirmed that the hard hard drive is showing up here and the SSD is passed here so you can reinstall the windows in this case if nothing is working for you also let me show you some other options we can troubleshoot from the BIOS let me press here F2 again like this okay and let me go to here boot sequence we have already changed that let me tick both options here apply system configuration go to system configuration expand that and go to SATA operation this is directly related to the hard drive as well guys so you have uh, you can switch over to if radon is selected here most of the system has radon and AHCI you can switch between them like you can select AHCI click on yes and apply here once and see if that work for you or not so radon is working on my system I have to select that and load defaults we have already selected that 
so these are the possibilities to troubleshoot this issue guys so i hope uh, you have got to point what is the problem with your laptop or system if anything needs to be changed do that if uh, the windows reinstallation is need to be required just do that so i hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching